Hi there and welcome back. My name is Adam Compton. Today we're going to be doing another tool demo. Uh, the tool that we're going to be demoing today is called Safe Login. It's a tool that I wrote a couple years back. Um, it is a simple application, uh, website, whatever you want to call it, designed to illustrate how simple it is to set up a phishing website. It is not a going to be a full-on phishing framework. It's just more of an educational purpose here. Uh, just to illustrate how easy it is, I will say I have used this on phishing engagements uh, for pen testing. And it does work. Uh, it will not be your best scenario or best solution for doing phishing engagements, but it is one that can quickly get out there and you can stand it up, have it working, and to illustrate how to do it. And if you need one additional phishing scenario, something like that, this might be a reasonable one to use. So let's go first, uh, let's go ahead and um, get it downloaded here. So we get clone. All right, there we go. Let's see the safe login. Let's clear screen. Uh, let's clear screen, let me type it right there. So there's a license, a readme, and the fish.py. So let's go ahead and cat fish.py. It's a simple little script here. How many lines is it? It is just under 400 lines of code here. It's all self-contained. So let's go ahead and Python. Okay, you see that it asks for a phishing domain and a passphrase. A phishing domain is a going to be a, a DNS domain that you've registered to be your phishing site. So if you're wanting to go after, I don't know, um, Pick whatever company you want to out there, and then you go and you do typo squatting, something like that. You register a domain that's similar. Let's say that they have .com as their um, top level domain. You do .co, something like that, or you change out A's for O's or I's for L, something like that, or whatever it is, uh, technique you want to use, you do that. So that's the domain there. The passphrase is just there so that other people can't get into uh, seeing the data as it's collected. Okay, let's go ahead and get this going and let's use uh, just safelogin.co the domain that I control and I have pointed properly here and for password I'm going to be super secure here and go 123abc hit enter okay it says I've created a new phishing site at http www.safelogin.co and all phishing sites can be see, viewed here. You can create multiple phishing sites to run in parallel with this if you wish. So let's go ahead and go to the first one. Let's open it in a new link. All right, so here, let's create a new one. Let's call it blog. And let's go after Hillbilly Storytime, one of my own sites here. Uh, we can go ahead and open that up in another page if you wish to see it. when it loads there we go so it's just a little my little blog here so nothing special you could use any site here you want but that's just the site we're going to be uh, working with so now we hit create and this will take a few seconds due to the back-end processing but this uh, let this finish all right now that we see that it's finished uh, it gives you a page with three URLs the source URL which is where the page that we're using as the um, the input here. Next uh, is going to be the phishing URL. You look at it. Yeah, this is all it does. It takes that old page. It does actually a screenshot of it because if you scroll here, you can see. But it makes it look like it's a uh, pop-up login here. A basic auth login it says log in to Hillbilly Storytime with your username and password. What it does is it actually takes this page, it screenshots it. It just as you see it there and then it displays it on the back uh, as the background here and then puts a gray layer over top of it and does this little um, cascading style sheet uh, pop-up it's not really a pop-up it's just being drawn directly on here prompting you and then you have this other one here the log URL let's go ahead and open that up as well you can see there's no information stored here at the moment so, but if we go over here and type in my username is going to be Adam. My password is going to be password. I hit enter. 
It says, oh, an error has occurred. Oh no, something bad happened. But if we go back over here and reload, you can see now the date, the time, the IP address I came from, my username, and my password I entered. I could do this again by just going back and putting in John and going and enter. Every time you do this, it'll add a new row to this database. All right, so you have this here now. Let's go ahead and close this out. And one thing you can see here is as it was running, it was actually logging everything to the screen as well. It'll tell you what uh, phishing site it was using. In this case, blog.safelogin.co. The date, it captured some credentials, all this, all this same stuff that was being logged into the uh, web page that you were seeing there is being stored here. Let's go ahead and close that out. And if we look now, there's going to be a new file here called phishing.sqlite. That's actually a SQLite database that contains all this information. All right, and that was it. Uh, there wasn't a lot to it. It's a simple little testing program just to illustrate how easy it is to set up a phishing site that is convincing to a certain degree. It has been used on a large number of engagements and phishing scenarios. It does work. It's probably not going to be your best, as I said before, but it is one that can be thrown in there as an extra or if you're wanting to demo it to a classroom or uh, what have you, just an example, it will work very well. If you did enjoy this, please hit the like button. If you have any comments about it or questions, please hit the uh, comments fields below. If you want to be updated when new, ver when new uh, videos come out, please hit the subscribe button. And due to some of YouTube's uh, new policies, please hit the bell icon as well to ensure that you get notified. And as always, thank you and have a great day.